CNBC, 3rd of February 2023, after cancelling a trip to Beijing, Blinken accuses China of being irresponsible over its spy balloon. As a result of a Chinese reconnaissance balloon traveling east over the United States and posing a threat to national security, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Friday postponed what was to be an already contentious trip to China indefinitely. Blinken was slated to travel to Beijing on a Friday night to improve communication and collaboration between the two nations. Instead, according to a readout of the conversation, he informed Wang Yi, the director of China's Central Foreign Affairs Office, in a phone call on Friday that the balloon was an irresponsible act and a flagrant breach of U.S. sovereignty and international law that damaged the objective of the trip. According to Brigadier General Pat Ryder, the press secretary for the Pentagon, the Defense Department was aware of reports of a second balloon transiting Latin America. We currently believe it to be another Chinese spy balloon. Chinese President Xi Jinping has intensified tensions with the United States over the past year by strengthening relationships with Russian President Vladimir Putin and escalating military aggressiveness against Taiwan. In addition to hoping to see Xi, Blinken had scheduled a meeting with his Chinese colleague, Minister of Foreign Affairs Qin Gang. According to China's foreign ministry, the balloon was a civilian weather airship that was blown off course for scientific investigation. It claimed that the incident resulted from force measure beyond its control. U.S. officials swiftly rejected this claim. On Thursday evening, a senior Pentagon official informed reporters that the object was a surveillance balloon circling sensitive locations to gather intelligence. The official stated, we have taken note of the PRC's regrettable comment, but the existence of this balloon in our airspace is a blatant infringement of our sovereignty and international law, and it is intolerable that this has happened. According to defense officials, the balloon does not threaten civil aviation because it flies east at a height beyond 60,000 feet. The Federal Aviation Administration said in a statement late Friday that it was actively coordinating with the Pentagon to facilitate any needed U.S. government reaction to the balloon. At this time, there is no danger to civil aviation from the balloon. The agency added that the FAA is ready to take action if that changes. Republican Kansas Senator Roger Marshall stated that the balloon was passing above his state on Friday afternoon. Defense insiders claimed that earlier this week, the Pentagon considered shooting down the balloon but changed its mind after briefing President Joe Biden. Senior officials, including Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Mark Milley, were consulted before making a choice. According to a Pentagon official, Biden concluded that the U.S. would refrain from shooting down the balloon because the balloon's debris would harm the Earth. In addition, any data gathered by the balloon would be of little additional value compared to China's surveillance satellites. According to Pentagon spokesman U.S. Air Force Brigadier General Pat Ryder, officials anticipate the balloon to remain in American airspace for a few days. At this stage, we are monitoring it and assessing possibilities. Alarms were raised on Capitol Hill by Beijing's apparent provocation so soon to Blinken's visit. Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee and a resident of Florida stated that it is not a coincidence that this is taking place just before Blinken was scheduled to visit Beijing. They act this way to degrade the opposition, demonstrate their strength, and convey a message. On Friday's The Mike Gallagher Show episode, Rubio remarked, I think it was connected to it. This wasn't an accident, in my opinion. Senator John Tester, a Democrat from Montana who represents the area where the balloon was floating overhead on Thursday, said he was in touch with defense and intelligence officials about the situation. Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana is home to one of the country's three nuclear missile silo fields. Tester did not provide a date for his Friday announcement to convene a Senate hearing on the balloon. The Biden administration must respond to my questions. In a statement announcing the hearing, 
he stated, I will be calling folks before my committee to obtain real answers on how this happened and how we can prevent it from occurring again. The Senate Appropriations Committee's Defense Subcommittee is presided over by the Montana Democrat. When he runs for re-election in 2024, he is considered one of the Senate's most vulnerable Democrats. The spy balloon incident occurred when tensions between the U.S. and China were at an all-time high. U.S. officials have long been concerned about Beijing's territorial expansion in the South China Sea and its aggressive attempt to annex Taiwan, but recently their concerns have become more pressing. Austin was in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, on Thursday when it was revealed that the U.S. would have more access to the country's military outposts. Approximately 750 miles from Taiwan, the island nation is strategically situated in the southeast corner of the South China Sea. As the People's Republic of China continues to extend its illegal claims in the West Philippine Sea, Austin said, referring to a portion of the South China Sea designated by the Philippines as the West Philippine Sea. The so-called Gang of Eight, which consists of the Republican and Democratic leaders of the House and Senate, as well as the leaders from both parties of the Senate and House Intelligence Committees, were given a classified briefing at the request of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, a Republican from California. According to a spokesman for Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, the Gang of Eight will be briefed on this next week. NBC News reported late on Friday.